Welcome to the Beer and Iron Soule's Quick and Easy Beer Broth Hamburger Stew. Go ahead and get your five quart Dutch oven out. This is my Lodge five quart from the 1930s. Look at that, beautiful. You could use a 10 inch camp Dutch oven if you wanted to, would work just fine. Throw in some bacon, the ends of the bacon that you don't wanna eat because there's so much fat on them. We're gonna render that fat and we're gonna use it to saute our onions. Look at that bacon frying down. A lot of flavor in bacon. And we're gonna leave that bacon in the stew. We're not gonna pull it out. There we go. Throw in about a cup of onions, but have your garlic minced up and in that as well. Beautiful. Now we're gonna add our ground beef, and we're gonna cook this ground beef till it's almost done. Nice. And then we're gonna add in some bell pepper for some color. I do love some bell pepper in my stew. We're gonna throw in some carrots, quartered and sliced. Let's throw in some celery. We're gonna bring this recipe home with some celery. There we go, some tomatoes. I'm using some fresh, if you wanna call store-bought there, but if you got some in the garden, perfect. Potatoes, I use some little round reds, but you can use some russets cut into one inch cubes if you wanted to. Add some salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Add some pepper, about a teaspoon of pepper, and some Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. There we go, mix it all about. Beautiful. Now, flatten it down a little bit, because we don't want to create a soup, we're creating a stew. First, start with your beer, and I like a nice porter in my stew. Beef stew works well with a porter. Chicken would do well with an IPA or a lager. Look at that, beautiful. We want to put our beer in first. We don't put too much broth. We're going to add our broth next. Start with a cup, and a cup should do just fine. You may end up needing a little bit more, but that's okay too. Cover it. We want to let it simmer for about five minutes or so. Now we want to come back to it because we're gonna check for some saltiness. We wanna make sure that our stew is salted perfectly. Get a little bit of the broth and give it a sample. Nice, if it's not salty enough, add a little bit of salt. And I'm just gonna eyeball it here. About a half a teaspoon did the trick. You can check for saltiness a little bit later if you're not fully sure. Cover it up and we're gonna let it simmer for a while there we go, get it good and hot. Medium heat works perfect with this. Look at this, oh my gracious. Turn that pot lid sideways to catch all that condensation. And then we're gonna take a potato and we're gonna check the potato for almost doneness and then we're gonna throw in our mushrooms if the potato is almost done. Throw in some frozen green beans or fresh, but fresh throw them in first because they're a little bit tougher. Same way with corn, about a half cup to a cup of corn. Cover it up and let it finish. The best way to tell whether this recipe is done is to grab a potato. If that potato is done, then the stew is done. Nice. If your carrots were cut big, then try a carrot. Now we're gonna serve it up. Top it off with some cheese and some parsley to bring it home. Do love the way food looks. If it looks good and it tastes good, things are good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe.